This is to show you how easy it is to put position user limits in on the dyno stick. So move the dolly to one position where you want a limit set and press the up arrow. You'll now see that one arrow comes up on the display to so show that you've set one limit. Now move it to another position where you want the other limit set. So there and press the up arrow again. Now the arrow will show you both limits have been set and it's at a limit. We'll move it off. This bar graph here shows the position between the two limits and these two arrows show that you can move either way. When we get to another limit you'll find that this now changes to show us that we're at another limit. To clear the user limits simply press the down arrow and again and they're now deleted. Now you feel free to set any new limits you want to. Also if I press the center button once, twice, three times and I get to this screen I can now set any position on the track straight away with one button. So I'm going to press the up arrow for position one, position two, position three and position four. Now if I put the switch in middle position or position one I can recall any one of those positions simply by pressing the button that corresponds to that position. Equally, I can press the center button and it will loop between those positions. So I can either go position one through to four, one to two, one, two, three, or back to one, two, three, four again. And the loop is on infinite at the minute, but I can press the button up or down to get into one or just a symbol, single, single run. And then the delay time is set by the dial here. The speed is set by either both the gear setting on here before you go into the screen and by the pot on the end which is the fine speed.